Hello Lauren, it's Monday, there are only seven weeks until you're in the UK, and today, if you haven't figured out already, we're going to talk about the Tiffios movie. First of all, it's important to note that this video will contain no spoilers about the Tiffios movie. Also, just to note that Tiffios is an abbreviation of The Fault in Our Stars, and it's going to be used a lot during this video, so you better get used to it now. So last Thursday, me and a whole bunch of others went to the fan screening of the Tiffios movie here in the UK. The film isn't properly released until this Thursday, so seeing the fan screening a week in advance was pretty awesome. I think it was the equivalent of you guys getting the night in Our Stars, but we had the week before Our Stars, so that's fine. We all got a poster and a lanyard, and we all got the added extra of seeing John's brilliant acting at the end of the film. By the way, John, if you do happen to watch this, you were brilliant. So anyway, the film began, and I loved it. It was the most faithful film to book adaptation that I have probably ever seen. It was just lovely from the way it was shot, to the acting, to the sets, to the way the whole film looked. It just felt lovely, and it was just lovely. And I was so happy that I walked away from the film feeling that way, because there is nothing worse than being so excited for a film or a book and then it just really letting you down. And I think everybody else in the cinema also liked it. There was a lot of laughter and there was a lot of crying. Of course, there was a lot of crying. Girls were crying, boys were crying, I was crying. But at the same time, I felt really happy. Not because the film was so lovely and amazing, because it was, but because the film was even made at all. You see, way back when, when YouTube was in like its first couple of years and the Vlogbrothers had like less than 50,000 subscribers, none of this would have been possible at all. Nerdfighteria was such a small and tight-knit community that you'd be lucky if you could find another Nerdfighter in your area. But nowadays, the YouTube community and Nerdfighteria are both huge, and it was the community and Nerdfighteria that helped John's book hit the heights that it did in its initial stages. And it was thanks to those heights that the book was spotted by Hollywood and it was turned into this beautiful film of a beautiful book. Ugh. Lauren, you and I have both been nerd fighters for a very, very long time. I started watching John and Hank in 2008, and I think you started watching before that. And our whole friendship and this whole project came to be because we joined a channel that was founded on the basis of the fact that we all loved John and Hank. And it amazes me that people like us helped the film be made because of the fact we bought the book and got the book to number one in all the different countries, and then it was spotted because of the fact that it was getting to number one and everyone loved it, and that's amazing. But what also amazes me is the fact that now nerd fighters can go to their local cinema and see the film, and they can meet other nerd fighters, and they can form amazing friendships like we did way back in like 2010. People have always underestimated and misunderstood YouTube and the community that is part of it, and I think the Tiffios movie is just proof of a job well done from all accounts. Lauren, I am so thankful for the film, and I am so thankful for our friendship which formed because of the author of the book of this film, and I can't wait till you're in the UK, and I can't wait to find a way to watch this film with you, because I know that it means as much to you as it does to me. DFTBA, and I'll see you on Monday.